Today we're going to talk about start screens. So every video game has its own title screen or a start screen, a splash screen, some people call it. So today you're going to make your own start screen or your title screen or your splash screen for your video game. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not going to be quite as um, epic as some of those that we just looked at or some of the video games you watch, but we'll at least get it started. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to create a new window that will start everything and then we'll click a button that'll actually begin the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a button that will be on the main screen, on the, the original screen that pops up on the window. So I'm going to call this end splash. We're going to kind of have to do this a little out of order, but it's going to work. And we're going to make a button, put it on the window, and the text is going to say like, okay, let's get started. So I'm anticipating that we're, I'm going to have like the rules of the game, how to win, how to lose, um, you know, the, the keys to press for movement, things like that. That should all be on this start screen. So we don't have to worry about it as the game progresses. If your game's pretty simple, you don't have to give them too much instruction, but a little bit would be helpful. Um, I'm gonna give this button some color. So I'm gonna make this background blue, and I'm gonna make the lettering, I'm gonna make that white. I want to make my button kind of big or bigger, it's not that big. And I'm gonna hold, well, I'll put the command right now because I mean, it's not gonna work yet because we have to create a new screen or a new, sorry, a new window. So once somebody clicks on the button command, it will go to the function called game screen. And I'm gonna put this button, let's see, I will just place it. I kind of want it in the middle and on the bottom of the screen. So I'll place it at 550 and 600. I can't run it right now because this command game screen does not exist yet. So here's the cool part. This splash screen, the title screen, is not going to have much on it. It's all of this stuff that you have coded so far, so your actual game, that's going to go on the new pop-up window that we're going to create. So I'm going to highlight everything in my game and only the game, not the window itself. So all of these images that are going to go in the background up until my global score. I'm going to highlight all of that. So notice up above this was the original window I created. Well, that original window is going to become the start screen. So I'm going to tab all of this in one time. I highlight, a, highlight it all and I press the tab key just one time and I'm going to put all of this inside the function of game screen. So what this is going to do then is this function, let's put comments here. So this opens the new window with the game on it. So we need to create a new window. We don't want it to be the old window. We want a new pop-up window. And there are many ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you one way. And if you want to get more creative, please get more creative. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new window, but it's going to be slightly different than what we did before. I'm going to call this the child because I think of the original window as the parent. And instead of saying TK, we can't do TK, in fact because the original window is the parent. It's the TK, it's the Tkinter window. What we're going to do is create what's called a top level window. It's like a pop-up window. 
I'm going to say it is a child of the original window that we created up above. You can do anything you want to this new window. I can give it a title. I can give it a background color. Um, here's the game. And just like we did with the window at the bottom of the window, we had to say window.mainloop. So at the bottom of this function, so notice, be careful about your indentation, we have to say child.mainloop as well. Okay, let's just run this and see, oh wait, 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 a couple things we have to change, sorry. Because now in your, your child, everything now that you did in your game is on the child, no longer on the window. So here where we put a canvas and we said window, we don't want it on the window, we want it on the child. And I believe the only other place where we said window is right here where we did window.after. We're gonna say child.after, child.after, and I believe that's the only time we used window on the rest of the game. So let's try it. Let's just run this. I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna run it, and let's see. So here's our boring start screen. And if I click, okay, let's get started. Up, up, up pops a new window. Sorry about that. Up pops a new window with your game. So you can see the splash screen is still back there. And there are other ways to do this. You can, you, if you try to delete the main window though, it's gonna delete this child as well. Cause watch what happens. If I click to end the game, it goes back to this one. And if I click that, it gets started. But if I close this, this main window, it closes everything because that's the window, that's the parent. It owns everything that's popped up. There are other ways to do it. I'm showing you the child method with a top level. You can find other ways if you want. All right, so let's make this, um, this splash screen a little bit more interesting. Let's put an image, a background image. Um, let's see, background image. And I'm gonna do this without a canvas. A lot of the tutorials show you how to put images on the screen by using labels. So I'm going to do that. I'm not gonna use a canvas this time. So I'll still have my splash image is going to be, um, I've already uploaded a file. So I'm gonna call this my space splash. You can see over on the left hand side, I've already uploaded that space, space splash GIF. Okay, now I'm going to create a label. I'm going to call it BG label. It's going to be a label that is on the window because I'm looking at the splash screen. I want the background color to be powder blue. And I want the image to be my splash image. Okay, now I need to place that label. I'm going to place it at x equals 0, y equals 0. And then to center the picture in the image, I'm going to use a relative width of 1 and a relative height of 1 as well. So that'll, that will center the image. On there for me. So let's take a look, see how that is looking right now. Not bad. That powder blue kind of looks nasty, but that's okay. But I've got my image here in the middle. I've got my button at the bottom. It's starting to look a little bit better. I'm going to give the user some instruction. I, to Kinter likes and I like to put all of my widgets at the bottom as I've done already. So this is the background image. I kept that one at the top, even though it's a label. But down at the bottom is my start button. So I'm going to put a comment here, um, the button to start the game. And I'm going to create a couple labels on this main window that will allow me to give the user some instructions, instructions for the user. All right, so I'm going to call my first one, I'll call it my instruction label one. I'm going to do two of them so it'll look a little bit better and not be so run on. It's a label that's on the window. The 
text is where I'm going to give them instructions. Your mission is to collect as many aliens as possible. Okay, there's some cool things you can do here. We can change the font style. I don't know if some of you have figured this out already. But you can change the font style, so I want it to be Arial. And I can change the font size, so I can make this a little bit bigger. You can use Comic Sans if you want. You can use any one you want, but you'll have to look up how to name it correctly, the font style. I'm gonna make my the background of my label blue, and I'd like the words, the foreground, to be white. Okay, I've already played around with placement, so I kind of know what placement is gonna be somewhat centered. So I will, I'll just throw that in here. You'll have to play around with it a little bit. But my first one, my first label is gonna be at 150 and 20. And then I'm gonna do a second instruction label. Actually, I'm just gonna copy and paste the one I did up above and just change a couple things. So I'm gonna copy this instruction label. I will paste it here. I'm gonna call this one instruction label two. And this one, I'll give them just a little bit more information. I'll say, but watch out for the bad guys. I don't know. You should probably give them a little bit more constructive information, but my game is still in the works. So is yours. So we're good enough. And I'm going to place this not right on top of the other one. I'm going to make this one, since it's a little shorter, I'm going to make it at 300 and down 75. So it'll kind of place it centered above the image. Those will somewhat be centered. So now if I press play, here's my new splash screen, my start. It's not very pretty, but it's okay. It's a good start. And then if I press, okay, let's get started. Now here's my game. I start the game and I start collecting aliens. I don't have any bad guys, but that's the next step for you. All right, there you go. Oh, you can also Add sound, which I'd recommend. Look into how to add sound to a Python game. That'll be awesome on your splash screen to have a little sound going. And then once the game starts, maybe change it to a different sound. Be careful, don't use really large files because that's gonna really bog down your game. All right, have fun with it.